CP3 being a former client of new Knicks president Leon Rose, I think it is possible that the Knicks would look into a trade for CP3. So let's look at the pros and cons of a CP3 trade. Number one, CP3 is having an absolutely monster year, averaging 17 6 four rebounds he's got the thunder in sixth place in the west played 61 games he's been healthy you know he's been healthy um averaging 35 for, from 348 from the field 90 percent from the free throw line he, he's been pretty much vintage cp3 here all-star he's putting up all-star numbers no doubt about it you could argue that shea gilgis alexander's uptick in play his improvement in play he could be up for a most improved player uh that could be attributed to cp3 you know he's been that good for this thunder team man a lot of people thought when he got traded to the thunder a lot of people thought it was an exile this team is playing solid basketball man so if you look at the play, you look at um, the improvement of the team, there's no doubt that Chris Paul can come here and help us. Chris Paul can come here and help groom the young guys. He could definitely get Mitch going, get RJ going, uh, the future point guard. You, you know, you still go into the draft and go get a point guard, but Chris Paul can certainly um, help this team develop if you're talking about development. Uh, this might be a plus for some of you with CP3 making... Uh, he's going to be earning close to $80 million over the next two years. Any type of trade featuring CP3, you're going to probably have to factor in Julius Randle in that deal. Obviously, from a, from a plus side, for some of you Randle detractors, you know, Julius would probably have to be in any type of deal for CP3, no doubt about it. So that that's a plus for, for some of you guys now on the minus side obviously you got to start with the cost what is it going to cost to get cp3 at one point when he first got there a lot of people thought that under would have to be the ones that's going to pony up a draft pick or a lottery pick to get cp3 there now the way that the thunder play are playing well, they may not be as motivated to trade cp3 as we once thought <laughs> now it becomes what is the price what is it going to cost the knicks to try to get cp3 here and and if the thunder are looking for draft picks i'm out count me out of it if the thunder are looking for draft picks absolutely count me out of it secondly yes he has been fairly healthy this year but he's 35 he's 35 who's to say he's gonna hold up in in the future years you know that that is a risk at the at the amount of money you're gonna pay him is 40 plus million dollars and shout out to Leon Rose for getting him that bag because uh, CP, <laughs> CP3 is cashing out. So the injury is certainly a concern. The cost is certainly a concern. Yeah, you know, the $40 million is a lot. I don't think the Knicks are, are really going to be uh, really in the game uh, for free agents. So I don't, you know, it, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world. And he could certainly help the team. But I, I would just be cautious. I wouldn't be paying a lot for it. You know, that, 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 that I, I wouldn't be paying a lot for him, that's for sure. But I certainly think he could help this team. I don't think you could even question that. 